Uh, this afternoon's panel is going to be a continuation in a way of the previous discussion that we had uh, on the different government structures for administra administering uh, veteran care. Um, so in a way, the uh, transfer to from a personal uh, provision of uh, veteran services to automated systems of service provisions um, is a way to streamline the procedure, to cut down the queues, and it's something that has been uh, practiced in, 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 another, in a number of countries across the globe. So just to give a quick oversight for our international guests about the system uh, that works in Ukraine, well, in short, it would be that there is no system. Uh, because in reality, um, we don't, well, this, the way services are administered is actually that the veteran needs to visit a number of different government bodies to get the, the assistance that, that he is entitled to by law. This is number one. Number two is that the government uh, is very poor with data collection. So uh, we actually, when we say that Ukrainian veterans have certain needs, we do not know for sure because uh, there are three different registries in, in which the government is responsible for. They are not correlated, they are not integrated. So uh, basically the way that uh, data collection works is that it doesn't work in short. Um, the other thing which uh, Ukraine has to deal with actually before uh, the ministry starts working and for this ministry to start working is to identify um, the bottlenecks uh, in service provision for veterans. In order to do that once again we go back to data collection and we go back to having some of the processes become automated and streamlined and moving uh, faster. So uh, the panelists that are in front of you this afternoon are actually all experts in their own way, uh, in their own very different way, I must say, uh, in tackling uh, this whole line of issues which I just mentioned. So we have Dr. Drew Helmer, who is from the VA and he, who really works with data a lot and who, who's, uh, whose job is based around, around data. So he will speak about the importance of that. We have John Burstler, who's uh, uh, a veteran himself and who is a founder of, uh, and he is the chair of one of the veterans uh, organizations uh, in, uh, in the USA. And they came up with a really unique system of administering veteran services. And it's essentially just like an online system. Then from the Ukrainian side, and I think we, we will start this panel off with, with the Ukrainians. So we have uh, Volodymyr Flons, uh, who is the developer of uh, e-democracy platforms in Ukraine, and he is also uh, the, the man behind Prozoro system, which is the system uh, of government procurement, which has been uh, in, uh, uh, in use by our government in the last couple of years. Um, and Denis Podanchuk, who is uh, who's a volunteer, he's a member of the Volunteers Council of Ukraine, and he's also a member of the project office for the setup of the Ministry of Veterans Affairs. And he will sort of kick off this panel, I think, with his presentation about what works and what doesn't in the system of veteran care at present, and what needs to uh, what needs to be done before we can speak about a fully operational Ministry of Veteran Affairs. So, Denise, over to you.